was wasting your time, governor. You can't hang me. Why don't you give a <laughs> Enough. Take him back to his cell. <laughs> the man who can't be hanged. <laughs> but why? <laughs> why do you think they're unable to hang you, Mr. Marriott? Ooh, maybe there's a good angel watching over me. More than likely it's the devil, I'd say. Oh, I don't much mind who's watching over me, angel or devil. Just so long as it's somebody with influence. As a matter of fact, quite a lot of people with influence are interested in you, Mr. Marriott. Oh. Your case has been debated right now in the House of Commons. Mr. Gladstone thinks that you should be set free, that you've suffered enough. <laughs> well, now, that makes two of us. <laughs> but seriously, Mr. Marriott, don't you have some theory as to why you couldn't be hanged? Do oh, I know why I couldn't be hanged? And if one of your iron mighty papers is willing to pay... 500 quid for the information? 500 pounds? <laughs> That's not very likely. <laughs> then I'm not very likely to tell. <laughs> I wager you hate to see me go away, Governor. I hate to see anyone make justice look foolish. Oh, come now, Governor, don't take on so. If you was to put me up on that there gallows 50 times, you still couldn't hang me. Now, go on home, Marriott. <laughs> you want another try at me neck, Governor? I'd be glad to oblige. Now, get out of here. You're smart not to take me up, Governor, because I'd win sure as I'm standing here. You know how I know? Well, you listen, and I'll tell you. Just when they was, when they was pulling that hood over my head and the rope snapped, I saw how old John Marriott was going to die. And it wasn't on no gallows. I said, get out. <laughs> it's your jail, Governor. Now go home, will you? I'm going to die in a most amazing way, Governor in a most remarkable way. Another one, Georgie, and some more for Marley here, too. Don't let them ruby lick it dry. <laughs> you know, when they take you to the gallows, they offer you a glass of brandy, now I best sweet it. Oh, I bet you had the old bottle, eh, Johnny? Almost. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> you should have seen their faces when them gallows wouldn't work. That bloomin' executioner, he kept kicking. Kicking that release bolt till I thought he'd have a stroke. You with that noose around your neck. Weren't you scared? Scared what for? They couldn't hang me. Not if they try. Till doomsday. Oh, come off it, Johnny. How could you know? Devilish stuff. Whispered in my ear. Johnny! Oh, Liz! Johnny. Where Johnny. have you been, oh, you blooming Johnny. like a rose? You know All flush like... Will Cooper! Did you miss me while I was Johnny. in the juggling? Johnny, Will, he's coming, he's coming! Come on, Will. give us a kiss. Johnny, he's got a gun! Come on, Liz, have an ale. Two ales, Georgie, one for Liz and one for Will when he gets here. Ain't you afraid he'll kill you? Will, no. Will's a mouse, not a lion. You want to know how I'm going to die? I'll tell you. There's only one way I can die. One way and no other. Now, gather round. At home that I'll tell you about my vision. Though the press offer me 500 quid, I won't charge you a farthing. Johnny, Johnny. Old Johnny Marriott's going to die at the foot of a lion right here on the streets of London. That's how it's going to be, I know. I was standing there on them gallows. I was standing there with that white hood over my head. And I heard them release the lever, and I heard them trap doors swinging open, and I felt myself falling. And while I was falling, the inside of that hood lit up like a million candles. And there I was, lying dead at the feet of a lion, right here on the streets of London. And I knew. I knew that's how it had to be. That way, and no other! Turn around, John. No, 
not the real Georgie. If you think you can kill my sister and go scot-free, you've got another thing coming. Too much head on that ale, Georgie. Turn around, John, or I'll shoot you right in the back! That's better, Georgie. Huh? Hey! Hey, you know... You know Alma Cooper? That girl what I strangled? Well, I hear her brother's looking for revenge. Now, you tell him, will you? You tell him that if Alma were alive, I'd kill her again right now. She deserved everything she got. And you deserve what you're gonna get, John Marriott. Try it again, Will. Mm. You couldn't hurt me. You couldn't hurt me with a cannonball. Not with a whole regiment of grenadiers to back you up. You couldn't hurt me unless you could bring the jungles of Africa up here to London. Well, that's gonna wake you up. Now lift up that pistol and shoot. Some dancing. What is it, a funeral? Ooh. Oh, now, what's wrong? What's everybody looking at me like that for? What do you think I am, some sort of spook? Oh, put your mind at rest on flesh and blood. Yes, and when the lion finally catches up with me, I'll prove it. Yes, I'll prove it. himself. Oh, blast the lot of you. I hope every one of you rot. I'm no more haunted than you are. You're all going to die, same as me. Only difference is, I know how. Yeah. Shoddy Marriott's Esquire will face any lion, living or dead, and spit in his blooming eye. Hello! Hello! Oh, there you are, you beast! Oh, you big ancient! Big, big ancient! I suppose if you got me in your jaws, there wouldn't be much left now, would there? Oh, who said I was to die at the foot of a lion anyways? Well, what you gonna do me? You do me now, eh? Come on! Try them up! Try them up! Well, I'm feeling a bit thirsty, so who? Talk to old cats. <laughs> what are you doing here in this hour? Hey, come here, you. Come here. Come here. Hey, come back. Hey, come back. Hey, come back. Blimey. He's broke his blooming neck. He's stone dead. them all over London. The symbol of Britain, you know. In a moment, something about next week. Mitchell Campion looks like any normal, average male. But as you will see next week, he once took a long, long step into his past and his future at one and the same moment. A step that thrust him head-on into one of the deepest mysteries of life.